Hi, I'm Brandon Lindauer. I am a content production specialist SA here at Amazon Web Services, and I'm here to show you our Color in the Cloud demo at SIGGRAPH 2022. Color grading is a process that's normally done toward the end of a production. Uh, it is where you take the finished footage, it's already been created, it's already been edited and put together, and now you're going to change the colors to either make sure they match the other footage in your production, or uh, to help tell a story if you need to darken a scene because it's got a little more of a somber mood or brighten it or desaturate it because of what's going on in the story. The coloring and color finishing process are going to help you with that. When we do this, it usually happens at the end and it happens with the highest quality media. So the content is going to be highest quality, uncompressed if possible, which means that you're going to have very high data rates. Uh, what we're doing today is uncompressed EXRs that is 100 megabytes per frame, so at 24 frames per second, we're pulling 2,400 megabytes per second through this workstation. Now, it's not the workstation that's here on-prem, it's the workstation that's in the cloud. And we've scaled our system to be able to accommodate uh, those, those speeds. So within the base light interface, we have uh, several clips here from our original short Pichu. Uh, what we're able to do is we're able to go ahead and play that back in real time. We're able to see a reference quality image on our monitor up here uh, without any uh, artifacts or delays. Again, this is a visually lossless compression coming over the internet. Today we're showing Baselight. Baselight is a color finishing and grading tool used by major studios all around the world. Uh, what we're doing is we're running Baselight today on an EC2 instance in the Amazon cloud. And uh, that instance is sending out its video over CDI. CDI is a low latency, highly interoperable network uh, protocol that we use to very easily send uncompressed video between AWS services. So Baselight is taking uh, uncompressed EXR footage, very high data rate, and playing it out over CDI, sending that signal directly to uh, Elemental Media Connect. Uh, Elemental Media Connect is taking that and transferring that signal into a JPEG XS stream. Uh, JPEG XS is a great technology that allows us to achieve 10 to 1 visually lossless compression, which means that a video stream coming out uncompressed can be compressed down to uh, a size that's quite manageable over the internet. Uh, today, we have this EC2 instance sending it over CDI to Elemental Media Connect. It is taking that Media Connect signal and sending it JPEG XS to a decoder that we have here on the desk. And that decoder is decoding that JPEG XS stream and sending it out SDI to our monitor. With this setup, a colorist can actually achieve reference quality at their location while running the system in the cloud. So the client machine here is just a Mac Mini and it's not actually doing any heavy lifting. We're running nice DCV to uh, use the remote session. And other than that, the, the Mac Mini is just a, a terminal for us to get into the cloud. In this case, you can essentially use anything. You could use a Mac Mini, you could use a notebook, you could use a, a Nook. These are all possibilities with this workflow. Today we're playing out in 1080p, 24 frames per second. Uh, it's actually capable of doing uh, 4K as well, uh, and we're using 422 color today. Uh, the decoder box that we're using is a Rydell, but Rydell and Everts both make a box for this. We're also able to, in real time, uh, apply grades to this, where we can uh, where we can modify and change the colors and really make changes to this to make whatever point we want to make, whether it's an artistic uh, expression or it's something that we think. Uh, needs to be changed about a scene because it was rendered too light or too dark uh, or filmed uh, with, with the wrong lighting. So we can go ahead and apply all these filters, use all the features of base light that a, an artist normally would use on-prem, but all of this is running in the cloud. So the culmination of this is that a colorist can work with all of their content and workstation in the cloud while still viewing a reference quality image on-prem with very low latency. Thanks for joining me, and I appreciate your time.